of the Gray property here with the old church still standing. There's some discrepancy to the name or to the actual what this used to be. Uh, my family has always called it the Richland Baptist Church, but there is a sign here that says Ono Methodist Church, established 1900. But I guarantee it to be older than that, and we've always known it to be as the Richland Baptist Church. The sign was put up by the Southwest Shasta County Historical Group. It's the old Rutledge property, it still stands. Coming on up to my Eagle Scout project. I'm the one that built this gate and it survived the fire. This is my Eagle Scout project. It survived the Zog fire. Just looking down at the road to the Ono Cemetery. This is the old road that led up to the Ono Schoolhouse, which burned down in an arson fire. It's up there on the Taylor property. That was back in 2006 when that burned down. This area was devastated by the deadly and horrendous zog fire. I'm pleased to know that my Eagle Scout project still remains standing and in, in use to the public. It's the Redledge property over there. Former Redledge, I don't know if it's still owned by the family or not. You can still smell the ash. Now there were a number of wooden markers in this cemetery. And as I'm looking around now, it looks like a majority of them were saved. So 
wooden marker up there. There's a wooden marker right there. my great great uncle on my paternal side looks like a lot of the wooden markers of this cemetery survived A lot of damage to the property, though. Fallen trees and such. Down fence line. It's my great, great, great grandfather on my maternal side and his wife. Harriet. There's another one marker. Now, I'm not, I don't have an actual count of all the wooden markers to know if any of them did burn up, but to my surprise, a lot of them are still here in this historic. cemetery. Some more wooden markers. Some broke off, but they could be easily replaced or reset. Praying for Ono. Here's some that did not survive the fire. Just total devastation. And if anybody's watching this, wondering if there are any records, we do have records at the Shasta Historical Society. But they may not be as up to date, but just an FYI, we do have some. And here's 
my family plot on the kidder side. This is my paternal side. It's my great, 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 great grandfather, the one who named the town of Ono. Pick the name out of the Bible, Nehemiah, after the plains of Ono, as we meet together on the plains of Ono, Nehemiah 6-2. My great 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 grandmother. <clears throat> and their son Charles. Daughter Mamie. Daughter Jesse. And granddaughter. Here's one that's just was burnt. Oh my goodness. My heart literally hurts. Oh. Coming up is Thomas Rios, spelled Riaz. The name was never corrected on the headstone. He is the second husband of my fourth great-grandmother, shown next. This is Elizabeth Jane Lamberson Smith Rios. We're being joined by some other people. Greetings! There's some other wood graves. Just pure devastation. Thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.